When we came back again to Uganda, we had sweared, we had sweared that we are going to re-establish democracy. It was in that line that in NCC, we took a line that we want the political parties to come back, that people must be in their colors. That never again must we get into politics of intrigues, fighting, stone throwing, etc. We want to unite. Oh, yeah. And lastly, lastly, we want to play mature politics for the betterment of our nation. Thank you very much. And because of truth, we have to be responsible and let you know the truth that we could not organize this meeting without the full cooperation, the full understanding of everybody in the government today, the police, the military, the military commission, and everybody in Uganda. I also want you to know how much I am personally moved at your response to the invitation to gather here and stand up and be counted for democracy. UPC has got 145. UPC has DP has got 4,000. The joy of the Buganda, the tribe that lives in and around Kampala, filled almost every street in the capital as news of their party's victory here spread. DP, they chanted. The initials stand for the Democratic Party of Paul Semagherere. They stand just as well for a long and bitter fight against the men, Milton Obote, then Idi Amin, finally the six members of the military commission who have run Uganda for any length of time since independence in 1962. No one expected the party of these people to win this election. They say they have. And now both party and supporters are locked in a struggle for power with two of their old enemies, Dr. Obote and the military commission. The votes have been counted with painstaking precision in the back rooms of polling stations up and down the country. Many results had been announced when the military commission stepped in, suspending all results, even arresting the returning officer in Kampala who had issued his. During the night, Paul Mwanga, chairman of the military commission, and Obote made endless calls around the country to check the results for themselves. Mwanga was not mincing his words. He said he would vet every result in every constituency himself in effect that the military commission would decide. They're old friends, Moanga and Dabote, and they shared elation when they came to their verdict. That verdict was a narrow victory for Obote. Everyone joined in, although the army commander, David Ojok, looked subdued. He fears trouble ahead. There's no champagne in Kampala, so it had to be sparkling wine. How could a vote possibly bring the country together now after an election like this? We have a very positive policy on the matters of healing the wounds of Uganda, the policy of reconciliation, the policy of no revenge. And if the losers accept democracy, I hope they will accept the result of the elections. We have one fair... Paul Semagherere had no way of knowing what was going on when I found him at his home early this morning. He was sticking to his claim of victory. Anything else would be fraud on Mwanga's part, he said. 
I think it's under, it is acting under pressure. I would say the chairman, not the whole military commission, I think the chairman is probably acting under pressure from the UPC. From a back side? It is possible. I wouldn't be so categorical, I'm not sure, but I believe uh, there is pressure from uh, what has come, either to keep the world ignorant of the defeat of the UPC, or worse still, to put pressure on him to nullify results which are in, in the field of the Democratic Party and perhaps uh, come out with the defrauded election results claiming a UPC victory. As word spread that the DP might not come to power, a crowd gathered outside Semagherere's headquarters in Kampala, chanting for the victory they do believe is theirs. This selection, said the military commission beforehand, would bring order where there'd been chaos. The chances of that now seem very slim indeed. Rather, this election has served to remind everyone that the real power in Uganda remains with the army.